Good morning. I'd like to begin with a brief story. A few of you who know me have heard it before. My family and I were looking for a new church home in the summer of 2004. We, over the years, had passed Wilshire hundreds of times in our daily travels, but we knew little about it. Long story short, it ended up being the first church we visited in our journey, and it turned out to be a very short journey. That Sunday morning, Mike and I decided to visit a Sunday school class. I, I don't recall which, but I do remember walking around the third floor looking a little lost when an especially assertive senior citizen urged us into her class. <laughs> urged might not be a strong enough word, but it was sweet. Our daughter, Anne, went to a junior high class and we agreed to meet afterward in the sanctuary for worship. We were settled in our seats right over there on the outer aisle when three teenage girls approached us. Anne, Anne, come and sit with us. That eager welcome on our very first visit warmed our hearts and we will never forget it. One evening, just a week or two later, I answered the telephone at home. Mrs. Maripolsky, this is Darren DeMint, the youth pastor at Wilshire. May I please speak to Anne? Notice he didn't ask to speak to me. He, directly to Anne, which I really respected a lot and appreciated. Darren asked Anne to consider going to the student ministry youth camp, which was occurring just a week or two later. And off she went to Arkansas with a group consisting mostly of strangers. When we picked her up at the church parking lot a week later, she got off the bus, gave us a hug, and said, I want to join this church. Did I mention it was summer? Now, it wasn't long before Mike and I had a dozen other reasons why we wanted to become part of the Wilshire family. But any of you who are parents know, had it been Anne's desire to make this church our home, that alone would have been enough. Did I mention it was summer? <laughs> Anne had just missed the youth choir summer mission tour, but she went every single year after that until she graduated from high school. And she went to youth camp every single summer after that. Many of your children who grew up at Wilshire did the same thing, only they got to start activities when they, were, when they could barely walk. And they participated every single summer. Many are participating now. So here are some of the things that happen at Wilshire during the summer. Vacation Bible School, Preschool Friends Camp, Children's Music Camp, Kids Cooking Camp, Preteen Camp, Adoption Camp, Youth Choir Mission Tour, Student Ministry Youth Camp, Summer Choir, July 4th Patriotic Concert, Summer Book Clubs, Summer Bible Studies, Special Summer Mission Activities, including Adult Mission Trips, Room at the Inn, Food on the Move, Prison Entrepreneurship Program, and I'm sure others I've missed. Many, if not most of you and your families benefit from these wonderful summer activities. If you haven't before, I hope you will. And many others outside of our church family benefit as well. So how is this all possible? Well, it's because of your generosity and your love and your graciousness, your time, your talent, your tithe. But having all these amazing church life opportunities also means that our expenses peak during the summer months. I had the privilege of serving on and chairing Wilshire's Finance Committee several years ago, and I can say from experience that we usually get concerned in June, July, and August. Right, Mark? <laughs> David? It's the truth. And that's because at the same time expenses are peaking, giving is historically at its lowest. Maybe that dip in giving is because our children are out of school, or because families are vacationing, or because of other summer distractions. But there's a definite change in the rhythm, unfortunately including a downward trend in financial stewardship. 
Tomorrow is Memorial Day. It's the beginning of a glorious time of year at Wilshire. So we're asking that you remember all of the ways God is working through you. Search your hearts and consider the rhythm of your giving. Did I mention it's summer? <laughs> Amen. <laughs>